Okay, here I am speaking to you, and I'm in the bathroom. I'm in my bathroom. You're looking at me in the mirror. You're seeing me for the first time um, with my makeup off, which is a scary thing. Um, I've removed it and I've shaved. And I have my makeup all laid out. I have my brushes brought in because trying to walk in and out of the bathroom, I've got the camera tripod right behind me. I mean, literally right behind me. So I don't want to trip over it. Um, first off, my foundation. That's really what sets your palette. That's what gives you what they call the, the flawless foundation. And the one I use the most of, we'll do this, is Yonique. This is my touch uh, cream foundation. Hi there. And um, almost all the makeup I use is Yonique. I like it. I've um, first bought sets two years ago from Rachel within HodgePodge Crochet. Uh, if you want to get anything from her, if you're in HodgePodge, those of you that are watching, I'd go through her. Uh, there are several of the people if you know them. Uh, there are two or three other Yonique uh, sales reps in there. It's a good company. It's designed for women. Uh, originally that was the intention was Salesforce are almost all women, 99%. Uh, uh, probably not a, a very few guys. I've actually been asked to sell it. I'm not a salesman, so I'm not going to even try. Um, it's non-hypoallergenic. They don't test on animals. If you buy more than $100 at a time, you automatically get free two-day shipping. It ships out of Utah. And that brings up another thing that we need to discuss. Good makeup costs money. Uh, it's easy to spend 100 bucks on makeup. If you buy a couple of foundations and a blush and a concealer, you're talking, you know, $110 easy. But it lasts. It lasts a long time. The, the makeup I put on, I do it once in the morning and then I remove it at night, at like 10 or 11 at night. And you should see, it all comes off. It, it, we're not talking cheap stuff that, you know, flakes off during the day. I never have to retouch my makeup on a matte work. So I have my foundation. I have all my brushes in here. And that's the other cost that comes into play is that you need good brushes. Uh, you can go to a Sephora, Sephora, I should say, a um, couple of other places, get good brushes. A good set of brushes is also going to set you back about 100 bucks easily. But the nice thing about them is like the Sephora brushes I have, the Onique brushes I have, they're good for a year, year and a half, and that's with cleaning out. You know, you use them and then clean them out like every other, every third day or so. You get all the junk out of them. And you do need to do that with brushes is you need to clean them out. So I have brushes for everything. I have foundation, eyeshadow, the whole bit. So let's get into this. And this is, this is my routine. <clears throat> this is what I do. And the first thing I do is I put on my lip plumper. Uh, this is actually from Buxom. It's Berry Essentials. I don't remember the name of this. I think it's called Amy. Um, the reason I use this, it's actually a lip gloss, but it's also a lip plumper. And I usually put this on first because what this does is it helps plump my lips a little bit. It's usually good for only like an hour or two, a couple of hours, but it, especially the lower lip, it gives you a feeling of fullness. I don't have plump lips because, you know, testosterone. It, it didn't give me that. So I have um, to try to do things to enhance my lips. Otherwise, they're, they're kind of flat. Then this is where you start I get started and I do this it's kind of a routine with me habit actually is I go for my cream foundation I don't use a lot and by cream foundation I mean it is kind of creamy it's actually like a a paste I have a cream foundation brush and I start putting on a very light layer of this all over my face and the nice thing I like about Yonique once again, is this really doesn't seem like you have makeup on. Now, 
Now I'm only doing half my face here so far, but you can see maybe a little bit. You know, the makeup is over here, and you can see a little bit of my beard still over here. So that's the kind of coverage it gives. And like I said, you don't use a lot. I don't use a lot, and it's mainly because what the cream foundation is doing is it's sort of laying down a base and it's getting all of the imperfections sort of covered and smoothed out. Now, some people will just put the cream foundation on. There's also a powder foundation. But that's done. That's my first step. The second step I do is to get in, and if I feel it's necessary, I'll throw on a little concealer. And really, the only place I put my concealer is along my upper lip beard line. I don't use a lot. And you don't really need to. Every once in a while, like here I had a, a cut from the other day. Some people will use concealer under their eyes as well. But this generally covers everything up. Then I go over it with, I have the Touch Powder Foundation. And this I keep in my purse all the time. And I keep it in my purse because if I do need a touch up, it's the same as the concealer that I just put on. And what this will do is it'll fill in the spots that the cream did not get. And I put a very light layer on here. And here's a tip. If you're looking to find a good concealer, don't match the color to your face. Match it to the inside of your wrist. That's how they did it with me. I actually met with a couple of uh, sales reps, uh, people I know down in Maryland who sell Yonique. And they actually mat matched the concealer on the inside of my wrist. And because they said that's really how it's going to present itself if it ma blends in well with what's on the inside of your wrist it's going to match in well with your face and as you can see i don't even look as if i have makeup on so again light layer all over and i do mean light and what this will do is it just fills in everything and again, some people are going to say, oh man, you have two layers of foundation on. It doesn't feel like it. You never feel as if you have makeup on. You really don't. And as you can see, here we go, see? I'm starting <laughs> to get filled in. The last thing I do is I go over my face with a finishing powder. And I also keep the finishing powder in my purse as well. Finishing powder really just locks everything down. It solidifies it, more or less. I use this Tarte. This is the Smooth Operator Amazon Clay Pressed Finishing Powder. And here's another tip if you're going to keep finishing powders and foundations in your purse. Keep loose powder here in your little makeup kit at home. Keep the pressed powder in your purse. Otherwise, bad mistakes. And all this is really going to do is it's going to pretty much seal up everything, lock it in place, while at the same time, kind of give your face a nice little I don't have makeup glow to it. You know, that's, that's really all it is. Now 
and there you go all done that's my foundation except for one last thing blush oops blush is just used to bring out the color in your cheeks again I use Yonique Yonique has some of the most powerful blush there is you do not need to use a tremendous amount of blush a lot of times I'll just turn the canister over and take the stuff that's in the lid and put it on and then that's it you know just brush it on and give my cheeks a nice healthy red glow and there you have it you know don't put too much on because the lighting in here is a lot different than the lighting you're going to see outside at one time put way too much on and when I got in the elevator it looked, I looked like a circus clown I really did and the thing you want to avoid is don't overdo the blush the only time you want to overdo the blush is if you're going out at night and you want a dramatic look but your foundation stays the same you don't want to change your foundation that much your foundation is going to stay the same that's why they call it a foundation okay now that's done now we get into the part where we can play and what we're playing with here are your brows your eyelids and your lipstick and this is really where you bring out your face the foundation just sets everything and this is what gives you what they call the flawless found the flawless look you know, now you see what I look like up close and personal the flawless look doesn't get much more <laughs> close than this so now I'm gonna do the brows and for my brows I use Anastasia brow powder this is the soft brown I like brow powder better than I like pencil uh, pencil you can get carried away with brow powder it's just brushing on as you can see I'm filling in just right along my eyelid uh, right along my brow line where the hair is and I darken the gray because there is gray there especially over here it actually looks as if my brow has been cut and I'm working on those what we call those serious bitch brows um, there's a writer I follow on Facebook Christine Foss who writes she lives in LA and does a lot of uh, she writes a lot of noir and she loves that sort of stuff and she's always talking about women with serious bitch brows um, I like the darker brows supposedly most men hate blonde hair with dark brows I don't care I love it I actually love it now we're going to get into eyes sorry just knocked out my brushes in the sink and I'm going to do something similar that I did this morning um, I'm just going to go with my unique pigments I'm going to use confident and curious and these are shimmer shimmer pigments so they're going to do things to my eyes I'm going to use my deluxe brush on these And the idea is this morning I just want kind of dark and shimmery on the lower lid and as you can see that's exactly what I'm doing here I'm going nice and dark and shimmery on the lower lid you can see it not real dark but dark enough 
if I want to, I could actually get into the crease here with a different color. Like if I wanted to put purple in there to kind of give it a, a line or even if I wanted to, I love purple. I'll close that up. And this is flawless. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this right in here in the crease to give myself, I'm going to use a liner brush. And I'm just going to line that right in there to give a little bit of contrast. Not much, but I got a little bit of purple in there now. right in the crease line there and it's not a lot but it's nice to give you a little bit of demarcation and then lastly i bring out curious I love the unique names, by the way. They're all, you know, kind of whimsical, curious, confident, playful, flawless, that sort of thing. And this is going to go up here just to brighten the top eye, the upper lid. I have a bit of a disadvantage being transgendered. Uh, my brows are not as close to my eyelids because of the way a male skull gets formed. And then if I just want a little bit of extra glow, I just do a quick run, a light run, right over the lower lid. And what this does is it'll give the lower lid just a bit of a shimmer, not a lot. But just a bit. So there you can see my eyes. There you go. Last but not least, lipstick. I've already got, and my lips are plumped up. Here I'm using uh, Lacombe Pink. This is what I used this morning. Work on getting your Cupid's bow in place. This is area up here. And last but not least, I throw on a little pink lip gloss. This is again unique. And this is ladylike. Ladylike, yes. There it is. Ladylike. And that just brings up the pink just a touch more. Not a lot, just a touch, but it makes it pinker. Then I comb my hair out. There you go. And I throw my glasses on. Mr. DeVille, I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> and that's how I look. Um, you saw me go from zero to hero, more or less, and that's how it looks. That's what I do. Pretty simple, huh? And as I can see on here, I just passed the 20 minute mark. So like I've said before, it takes me about 
15 to 20 minutes to throw on everything that you saw me do. And I've been talking through this process, so if it took me 20 minutes to do this on tape, once you know what you're doing, once you have everything laid out and ready to go, you can actually get your face on in about 15 minutes. Okay, I'll go outside and we'll take a different look at it in a different type of light and uh, I'll have some closing statements.